Hi, my name is Paul Kaharvitz, and today I would like to talk about a hybrid conveyor. What is a hybrid conveyor? A hybrid conveyor is really a custom conveyor. It's something that you just can't buy off the shelf. Uh, it needs to be made to special uh, specifications and geometries. In this particular case, uh, our end user had to get this into a robotic cage and it had to miss a major uh, structural component. Uh, so we had to take the belt path, run it here, uh, run it down here uh, with a cantonary sag, and then run it back up to the motor. That wasn't that big of an uh, issue. What was a little bit more of an issue was he needed 48 inches of usable belt, but the absolute maximum width of the conveyor was 49 inches. In order to accomplish that, we had to do a couple things. We had to recess all the pockets where the screws went into the crossbars. Just those screw heads sticking up would have made the conveyor too wide. Additionally, we made a special support uh, that was much narrower than the opening, so the entire conveyor could slide into the robotic cage. If you ever have those space limitations, uh, special geometry, you really want to consider the hybrid conveyor because we really start with a white piece of paper and start designing it exactly to your specifications. Let me get set up and we're going to go over one more hybrid system and I'll go over some of the uh, special nuances of, of that system. Okay, we have the second hybrid system set up. This is much like the first system uh, that had space constraints, but in this case we have vertical space constraints. As you remember, uh, the first one had uh, width constraints. Here we have height constraints. You're going to have to use just a little bit of imagination because obviously it's just set up here and not in the machine. But one of the biggest constraints was we have a machine, a huge machine that was chipping material and that the bottom of that machine came right, to, right about to here. So in order to do that, we had to cut these sidewalls down from, let's say, kind of a normal standard 8 inches down to 5 inches. Then as we left, we had to increase that to our traditional 8 inches to be able to go around the sprocket. Uh, we made these custom brackets that go underneath the conveyor and attach directly to their machine. But again, we, we had to narrow this down and then flare it back up. Ultimately, the product comes off of this conveyor and dumps into a box over here. But again, because we had to keep everything so low, we had to start with, again, with a five inch profile down here, work up to a 12 inch profile here to contain the product, and then it would go into the box. Once again, uh, the hybrid is a custom conveyor. Uh, these geometry changes are pretty easy for us to do. And when you have a conveyor that has to fit, it just has to fit in a certain space, you want to consider the hybrid conveyor. If you have any questions at all about the hybrid, please contact us here directly at Dynamic Conveyor Corporation. Thank you.